A water budget is a valuable tool when modeling your study area with ModFlow. GMS has user-friendly tools for examining the water budget in a ModFlow model. When a ModFlow model runs, at the end of the listing file, a flow budget is printed for the entire model. This listing shows a summary of the sources with the volume of water entering the model the sinks with the volume of water exiting the model, as well as the error or difference between the sources and sinks. When ModFlow runs, this same information can be written for each cell in the cell-to-cell -cell flow file, or CCF file. By default, GMS turns on the CCF output in the output control package. Another way to see the flow budget for a ModFlow model is by right-clicking on the CCF file in the Project Explorer and selecting the Flow Budget menu. This gives us the same flow budget information printed at the end of the ModFlow listing file. If I want to see the flow budget for a subregion of my model, I can also select the cells in the subregion and then bring up the flow budget dialog. Now I can see the information on the sources and sinks that affect this region, as well as information on flow into and out of this region from adjacent grid cells. GMS also includes functionality like the Zone Budget Utility distributed by the USGS. Zone Budget IDs can be assigned to 3D grid cells. By default, each cell is part of Zone 1. We will assign layers 1 and 2 to Zones 10 and 20 respectively. When the Flow Budget dialog comes up, the Zones tab can be selected. Here, a unique Zone Budget ID has been assigned to each grid layer. The information shown in the spreadsheet matches the output from the Zone Budget utility. Using these tools, we can see the flow between the different zones that we have created. A convenient way to visualize the flow budget is to create data sets of the flow budget components. By selecting the CCF datasets command, we can create a 3D grid data set for each of the components stored in the CCF file. Now we can contour these data sets and visualize how our boundary conditions affect the aquifer. We'll zoom in on a river reach. Notice that we can see where our aquifer is gaining water from the river. Or losing water to the river. In a transient model, the flow budget will change with time. Now we'll load a transient mod flow model. Using the plot wizard, GMS can plot the flow budget versus time. We can create plots of selected cells, or we can use the zone budget IDs. We can also choose what flow budget information to include in the plot. Here we will create a plot of the stream SFR2 boundary condition for zone 1 versus time. You can take the information from this plot and easily put it into a spreadsheet program by right-clicking and selecting the View Values command.
The intuitive flow budget tools in GMS help you better understand your ModFlow models.